when you get blood work done, are you wondering what is it you should look for? I mean, there's a lot of big words, a lot of confusion on what exactly is important, what's not important. Well, stay tuned because Dr. Serrano is here with me, and we're going to talk about some of the key things that you should be looking for in your blood work. So thanks for watching everybody. John Meadows here with my friend, Dr. Eric Serrano. And the question, we get tons of these questions about blood work. You know, what is it exactly you should be looking for? So what we're going to do today is Dr. Serrano is going to talk to you about some of the more important things that you should be looking for so that when you go to see your doctor, you can ask them, you know, I want to get this checked, I want to get this checked. So we're going to give you the questions to give to your doctor so you're getting the right information to make sure if there's anything wrong, you can get it taken care of, but basically to ensure that you stay healthy. Okay, when patients come to see me, I want to give you information that they can take with them, say, is this going to help me do better or survive or live longer? Most people do not understand that checking some blood tests is not what they need to do, but a specific test. I would like to do a CVC test in which it gives me the hemoglobin levels, because you want to know what they are. The hemoglobin levels, the CVC tells me, Okay, are you a B12 deficiency? Do you have an iron deficiency for that one test? So CBC, what does that stand for? Uh, complete blood count. Complete blood count. So, so that tells you hemoglobin, red blood cells, white blood cells, so it tells you you have an infection or not. Okay. okay? Number two, I want to get a complete metabolic profile. And a complete metabolic profile includes your sodium, potassium, magnesium, liver enzymes. So you always want to know those because you might be exercising, training, or taking medications. Number third, Insulin levels. Why insulin levels? Because insulin levels are one of the most accurate markers for mortality or death. The higher your lever, the higher the levels you are, the more aware you are need to be that either you need to make a change in your diet, including backing up of carbohydrates, or being more active because that will lower insulin. Another one. So that, this is a really good point. So I know what a lot of you are probably wondering is Dr. Serrano talking about the fasting uh, glucose levels in the morning. That's not what he's talking about. He's talking about your actual insulin level. That can be tested. And what Dr. Serrano is saying, that those normally, that those levels, those insulin levels get higher and higher and higher, you can run into all kinds of, all kinds of problems. That is a great point now that you say that because I can have a test. Glucose is the sugar level and it says 80. And you say, I'm great. Well, but on the background, it's insulin running at 40 and 50, that it should be only 10. But to keep your blood sugars at 80, your body has to actually make 400% more insulin to keep those levels normal. So that is a great point. Yeah. And, and you also mentioned, uh, if I could take another step back, you also mentioned liver health and liver enzymes. And one of the common questions that I see is people look at their AST and their ALT, and it gets a little bit above that normal range and they freak out. Should those people be freaking out? Absolutely not. You're right about that. If I go exercise, actually, if I have... I have pigs, cows, and I run from my door to go get a pig because they escaped the house, my AST, ALT are going to get elevated. It's just an activity inducer. You're exercising, your liver has to clean proteins out of the system, it's going to get elevated. Now, if that, if that number is elevated three or four times more than normal, then that's when you worry about it. For example, AST and ALT levels, the levels in the lab say between 30 and 40. You're 80, you're okay. Now you're 120. 220, then you, okay, what's going on? Medications can influence that, exercise can influence that, diet can influence that. So the point is, is listen, you get your AST and your ALT, those are liver enzymes, and if they're elevated, don't necessarily freak out unless those numbers are really high. So complete, what's the CBC, complete blood count? Blood count. Um, CMP, complete metabolic profile. Complete metabolic profile. So we're looking at your liver, fasting insulin. What else? Is there any more that kind of... Absolutely. There's a couple of more tests that I sometimes I would like to do. CRP. The reason I do a CRP or C-reactive protein is because it's an indicator of inflammation. And I'm going to use... I'm going to use Joe Mel's as a scapegoat. Joe Mel's CRP at one time was 24. That is insanely... That's bad. That is really... Uh, that is me hit, getting hit by a truck. That's how bad it is. When he told me, I said, oh my God, Eric, what I'm going to do... One of the biggest resolving of that, one of the way to lower that is not only diet, of course, but also taking B6, niacin, 
B vitamins, they make a massive difference on your CRP levels. Of course, you have to change what you're doing that is causing inflammation. But like his CRP went from 24 to only 4 within 4 weeks. And then it went down to 0 0.01. Well, and that's what I would like to see. And, uh, and I think I was when I introduced curcumin uh, yes. as well, too. So HS, CRP, uh, that's, that's what you want to look for. And you want that thing to be as close to zero as possible. I want it as close to zero as possible. It's impossible to go to zero, but you want it as close to zero as you can get. Okay. Any more? Got another? One? I would say, depending on your age. For example, if I have an older person, 55 and older, and I shouldn't say 55, let's go 65 because I'm in that age range. I would say get, get your testosterone levels checked because it's an important test to see how you're doing. Testosterone levels, most people think, are like a, a, I would say, hormonal level, but no, it's not a hormonal level, it's a health level because your hormones are an indicator where your body is. The younger you are, the higher the levels are. The older you are, the lower they are. So you need to know, hey, where am I? Am I getting older? Chronically, I'm not getting older, but on the blood test, I'm getting older. I need to make changes. Yeah, so, and low, and I think the evidence is pretty clear that really low testosterone levels have some really adverse health consequences. Brain, heart, muscle, absolutely. You have to yeah. be careful. Yeah, so um, get your test levels checked too. All right, there you go. There's five awesome things that you can get tested. Actually, it's more than five when you look at the profile, but... Um, if you have any questions or if you have any more, um, maybe if you're wondering about some other items that you want to get tested, comment mm -hmm. below and we'll get back to you. But thanks for watching. We appreciate it and have a good day. Thank you.